Welcome traders to another Tickmill earnings report preview with me Patrick Mundley. Before we jump into today's report as always want to adhere to the risk disclaimer and most pertinent to today's presentation is the fact that the views expressed by me are solely mine they're not indicative or representative of those held by Tickmill UK or Tickmill Europe Limited. Okay let's jump into today's report and we are looking at Nvidia. Nvidia announced earnings after the close of trade in New York today and we are looking for an earnings per share of uh, 49 cents on revenue of 6.699 billion. Uh, I guess most importantly for Nvidia uh, they uh, led the semiconductor industry lower on August the 8th uh, falling nearly 6% that day after the graphics chip designer pre-announced weak second quarter revenue due to a shortfall in gaming related revenue and Intel uh, unveiled a new offering which uh, was considered to be highly competitive. For the period ending July 31st, Nvidia said it generated just under 6.7 billion in revenue, down 19% from a year ago, compared to expectations of 8.1 billion. The company said its gaming business was the main culprit of the shortfall, as gaming revenue fell 44% sequentially and 33% year over year, to 2.04 billion. Conversely, data center revenue rose by 1% sequentially, uh, 61% year over year to 3.81 billion. Uh, the gaming product sell off through uh, projections declined significantly as the quarter progressed, according to uh, NVIDIA Chief Executive Yunsung Huang. In a statement, he stated they expected the macroeconomic conditions affecting sell through to continue and they were taking actions with uh, gaming partners to adjust channel prices and inventory. The company added that it slows operating expenses during the quarter but will continue with its stock buyback program. Nvidia was named one of the top up 30 most attractive stocks at City based on fundamental sentiment and valuation. Analysts are largely upbeat on NVIDIA, it had an average rating of buy from Seeking Alpha authors, while uh, Wall Street analysts rate it as a, uh, as a hold at this stage uh, due to that uh, issue with respect to the earnings pre-announcement. Let's take a look at um, some of the historical trading patterns around NVIDIA's earnings releases. NVIDIA shares have moved higher on the immediate aftermath of earnings 8 out of 12 previous reports. On average, the stock moved up 1.2% in the first day of trading after the company reported earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Nvidia is more likely to trade higher one day after earnings for an average gain of 2.6%. Uh, on average, stock is traded higher by 2.2% one week after earnings. In terms of the option market and what we're looking at in, in, uh, from a volatility perspective, Options traders are pricing in a 6.6% move on earnings. The stock has averaged a 4.5% move in recent quarters. From a sentiment and flow perspective, notable selling of the uh, $170 put expiring on Friday. We've seen 8,736 contracts there. Uh, the options order flow sentiment in general is bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's earnings release today with only 50% expecting the potential for a beat. NVIDIA share price has drifted down 0.3% post its prior earnings announcement. And using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings announcements is 14.6%. Let's pull up the NVIDIA chart here and see if we can identify any uh, trading patterns that uh, we could take advantage of here. Post the earnings. So we know we've got that $170 put in the market. So we are the market, the options market is expecting a, a knee jerk response to the downside on these earnings. What I'll be watching is any move into weekly projected um, range support 157, monthly projected range support 150. So any move into this area, I'm actually going to be looking for uh, bullish reversal patterns uh, to engage on the long side, looking for a move back up through the high volume mode here at 187 and I'm looking for a test of the weekly trend line resistance and monthly projected range resistance up to 208. So I'm not anticipating this move is going to happen in the next few sessions but if we see any weakness on the earnings here I'm going to be looking to accumulate with daily bullish reversal patterns 
And like I said, I'm going to target a move up to that 208. At this stage, only a loss of the current cycle lows at 140 will be a significant bearish development, opening a move down to test the weekly high volume lows just ahead of 130. Now, as always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.